Hello friends, my name is Vivek Pandit and today's topic for discussion is uh, social responsibility of a business. So what exactly is a social responsibility for a business? Social responsibility is that responsibility which is over and above the statutory requirement that every business is supposed to already do. So statutory is the government regulations and the rules that any business needs to follow. So any other work, any other responsibility that any business undertakes and wishes to complete, that is part of the social responsibility. Let us clearly identify what are the different social responsibilities that any organization is actually working upon. So uh, there are different interest groups which every business is dealing with. So it is widely recognized that customers fall in the category of being one of the most important such interested group that any organization fail, uh, requires because every business is actually working to satisfy their customers. So the first and the primary responsibility of any business lies towards its customers. Where else does the, the responsibility of the business lies? It lies in clearly understanding what exactly does a customer require? What are its basic requirements that the business is trying to fulfill? So that is what the company's interest has to be and is. Next is to improve the functioning of the business. Every business is keyed in to make the processes smart, to make the overall efficiency and the functioning of the business in a manner so that it is contributing to the overall efficiency and the productivity of the organization. What is the next other objective of any business? It is to improve upon the productivity, constantly work upon to improve the productivity of the business. If we are reaching target A in the first year of our business, the next year's target has to be B or A plus whatever the company uh, is setting the goals at. What are the other options which are available to a company? It is the constant functioning in a manner that it helps to reduce the cost of manufacturing, the cost of the services and it in the ultimate run reduces the price burden which a customer of that business has to offer. What are the other interest groups that a business is focusing on. It is working on constantly working on improving the quality of its services, the quality of its production that the business is undertaking. That is what the businesses are constantly working upon. What else are the businesses working upon? It is to ensure that the distribution of their products and services is perfect, it is smooth. Uh, it is not just the manufacturing aspect. It is not just the pricing aspect, but till the time the products and the services reach the ultimate user in the most efficient manner and just at the right time and the right place, only then the customer will be satisfied. So the job of a company is also to ensure this aspect is taken care of. What else is the responsibility of a business? To constantly endeavor to take to make research and development a real possibility, to constantly work upon improving one's product, to constantly provide more value additions to the customer in addition to what a business is already doing. So this is what a company or a business is constantly working upon to improve in its total business life. What else? Uh, the next aspect which is important is constantly working upon ensuring that the prices at which its products and services are available, they are the reasonable prices. They are just the right prices which the customer can afford. It is also to ensure that they are make, uh, competitive in the market and their prices are not over, uh, beyond what their competitors are offering because that is one sure shot way of driving oneself out of the business range. So a company is constantly working on this aspect of re constantly reducing the prices or the costs which the customer has to pay for any product and services. And when we are providing our products and services, we have also to ensure that once we have 
we have a customer at hand we also have to ensure that our after sales services are taken care of and there is a relationship built between the company and the customer so that any any other uh, concerns which a customer might have after the transaction has been completed is also taken care of and that usually takes the form of uh, the after sales service that every business is supposed and should provide to a customer and and number 12 uh, in the long list is to ensure that product has no adverse effects on the consumers we have to ensure every businesses has to ensure that the products are absolutely safe the services that they are providing does not in any way harm the customers physically or emotionally they does not cause or provide any co- co- kind of discomfort uh, to the ex- to the experience of a customer what are the different stakeholders that any organization has Res- so there is a responsibility of every business to take care of the interest of all the stakeholders so uh, capital providers they are the largest stakeholders of any organization of any business they are funding the organization so every organization has to ensure that their interests regular interest payment their uh, loans are properly furnished at times and the returns on the capital returns on the investments are taken care of that is what the business has to ensure they also have to ensure that if there is a profit sharing involved in the businesses that aspect is taken care of and the interests of the stakeholders are uh, properly adhered to and taken care of another aspect is to ensure that there is political and economic stability that the company is able to provide and generate through their actions because the kind of environment that a business is operating in that is what it requires to have in the long run as well then what is the company's responsibility towards the employees employees form the backbone of any organization and the success of that organization is always dependent on the morale of the employees how are, how do they feel at work are they working at their optimum uh, levels is the company able to draw the best out of their employees are they delivering to the best of their abilities these interests have to be taken care of by the company is the company paying the minimum fair wages uh, fair wages to the employees uh, is hard work is extra work is smart work rewarded are the bonuses in place so this aspect has to be clearly taken care of by any organization the company has also to ensure that the environment of the uh, organization in which the employees are working is is safe is secure and it is providing just the kind of environment which is leading to the efficiency of the employee basic norms and standards maintained by way of uh, food the working conditions the comfort of the employees also taken care of so that ensures that the efficiency of the employee is maintained and the company is also fulfilling its responsibility on that account uh, we've already mentioned about the working conditions so the best of the working conditions the fairest of the working conditions also has to be ensured for the uh, employees an employee is always associated with any organization besides the work that is required to be done besides the skills that uh, the employee brings to the company is the kind of welfare that is generated because the employee also brings with it the burden of its family the expectations of its family so what are the welfare schemes available uh, for the employee by way of uh, getting loans by way of uh, getting holidays so on and so forth so uh, that becomes a very important aspect of a company's responsibility towards its employees uh, arrangement for proper training and education of the worker again also leads the front because a cust- uh, employee also shows loyalty towards the company by way of uh, how well the company is able to in- increase upon the uh, profitability uh, not only of the product but also of the employee what best the company is able to offer to the employee by way of training and development to that uh, worker 
that also is an essential as aspect of a company's responsibility. Then what is the company's responsibility towards other business? Let us see that. Number one is the social responsibility of businesses includes a healthy cooperative business relationship between different businesses. A any businesses is working in a climate, in a space, in an economic space where other businesses are also functioning. So the, the relationship between that business and the other businesses needs to be smooth, needs to be just right for the entire environment to exist in a an healthy and a competitive manner. The company has to ensure that no unfair practices are made. There's no unfair competition between businesses or competitors. No such methods are adopted that leads to unlawful activities because this is uh, this can be done by interfering in the affairs of other companies. So this has to be clearly avoided and that becomes the social responsibility of any business to not fall into that trap. It is also the responsibility of a company is to not to spread any false rumors about the products and services or any other aspect of other businesses. This has, to in, has, this has to be ensured at all times. So no product, no services of any other businesses is projected in a manner that it is fake, it is unreal, f for that amounts to uh, fraudulent behavior on part of any business. Not to show any unethical advertisements by way of fair play, when we advertise, it is our responsibility to ensure that ethical practices are followed and we simply focus on the kind of activities that we are doing, the kind of products and services that we are providing instead of spreading false information about our competitors or for that matter any other business. What is the responsibility of any organization towards the government? It pays its dues and taxes fully and with honesty. So a business, a business's primary responsibility is towards the economy as well and it is generating no doubt profits but it also has to provide taxes to the government because ultimately the nation runs from the taxes that the government collects from such businesses so that a business so that the uh, government can spend it on, on, on different social uh, responsibilities uh, which a nation has to carry forward. So the taxes need to be paid regularly and just the right uh, responsibilities have to be fulfilled. Uh, to be a law abiding citizens all rules and regulations and laws that are framed by the uh, governments need to be followed by every business in just the right spirit. This has to be ensured by different businesses. It will not purchase political support by unfair means. So uh, it has been found uh, and, and to the detriment of such businesses that all those businesses who have been adopting the practice of uh, using government influence, government power, in wrong way they have been punished by law and they have been taken to tasks. So all of these aspects need to be clearly avoided for the smooth functioning of any business and this falls under the social responsibility of any organization. A company will sell his, its goods and commodities at fair and reasonable prices. So this is one regulation that is declared there is no rules to it. But this naturally follows that every business will ensure that only the reasonable and fair prices are charged from the customers and no unfair means are adopted to charge unlawfully or at higher rates from the customers. Then what are the responsibilities towards the community? Every business is operating in a space, in an economic space, in a social space. So the, it is constantly handling a community, it is constantly handling a social uh, community, social space and it is responsible for that social space. So major areas where businesses can and does contribute towards community welfare. So what are the different 
welfare activities that the businesses are contributing to. It could be any welfare activity that could help the uh, society at large. It could be donating towards the uh, religious activity of any society, any uh, function that the society might be holding, any sports event, any any other educational event that the society is in need of or the company, uh, a company associated with by promoting sports for the or a sports facility for the community is always a welcome sign. Taking appropriate steps to prevent environmental pollution and preserve ecological balance. Every businesses uh, holds the responsibility of ensuring that the safety of the environment is taken care of. Uh, a, a business is always paying back to the society by taking care of the ecology, by taking care of the environment. Single plastic government of India is working towards eradicating single use plastic. So businesses that take over the responsibility, it is their responsibility to ensure that their packaging, their usage of single use plastic is not only minimized, it is done away with and it is done away with as soon as possible. So this will become a responsibility of every organization to take up and follow. Another responsibility that a company or a business holds towards the community is that in case because of its business, the society or any member of the society is facing a difficulty or has faced a loss out of the business or the functioning of the business the company or the business will ensure that any such disability or any such loss which has happened to that individual or to that group of individuals, the company will ensure that that is taken care of and the rightful compensation is handed over uh, to those individuals or to those group of individuals. And any business, any organization will constantly strive towards developing the locality in which the business is, is located, the space in which the business is operating, the regions in which the business is operating, every organization will strive towards working towards that community, working towards the development of uh, that community. That becomes the social responsibility of any organization so far as community is concerned. Uh, another aspect that the company or a business will work upon is improving the efficiency of the business operations. All the functioning, all the operations of uh, the company leading to the manufacturing of marketing of goods and services will be taken care of and constantly that effort would be made to work on those operations, on those business operations. So friends, what are the takeaways of today's discussion on social responsibility? The major takeaways are every business's responsibility requires certain values, certain principles to be followed in all its decision making, in all its functioning. It has to ensure that there are a number of stakeholders involved in running a business. And the businesses have to ensure that there is a proper mix between the responsibilities that an organization needs to follow. There has to be a proper balance between the profit making objective of the company and to ensure that because of its activities, because of its functioning, it does not cause any kind of a discomfort, any kind of a loss to other stakeholders involved. So there lies a social responsibility on part of every business to follow, which will again lead to building of such ethics which will always work in favor of the organization to make it a big name in the community, in the area, in the region that any business is operating. I hope today's discussion has been fruitful to you. Thank you so much.